In this video tutorial, we learn how to convert ratios to percentages. And in order to understand this topic, let's solve some problems. Here is one problem and it says, in a class, the ratio of girls to boys is 3 ratio 7. What percentage of the total number of students is girls and what percentage of the total number of students is boys? So you have to calculate two percentages, that is the percentage of girls in this class and the percentage of boys in this class. And what information is given to us is the information of ratio, that is the ratio of girls to boys and that is 3 ratio 7. Now, in order to calculate the percentage, the first step will be find the fraction of girls and the fraction of boys in this particular class. And in order to do this, you first calculate the total number of parts that this ratio represents. And the total number of parts will be the sum of these two numbers, that is 3 plus 7. It gives us 10 parts. Now, if you're thinking why we did this, why we have done this, then it is to calculate the fraction and you can imagine this as, imagine that the strength of this class is a one unit which has been divided in 10 equal parts. So one part, two parts, three parts, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. Okay, so 10 equal parts. The strength of the class, we have divided it into 10 equal parts. This three part is for girls. And the seven parts is for boys. What fraction do girls represent in this class from this figure? It will be 3 over 10, right? And what fraction do boys represent in this class? 7 over 10 from basic fraction matter. Now, first calculate per percentage for, let's calculate a percentage for girls. And we will use the unitary method. Okay, so for girls, in this scenario, what we can see is if the strength of the class is 10, that is out of 10 students in this class, three are girls, right? There are three girls. Again, we are using the unitary method. So for one, it will be three over 10. Therefore, for 100, what if the number of students in this class is 100? So if the number of students in this class is 100, then the number of girls will be this much, right? And you get 10, that is 30 girls. What does that mean? It means if the total number of students in the class is 100, then out of these 100 students, 30 are girls. That means 30% is a percentage of the girls, right? 100, 30, they were 30%. 30 now, for boys, in the same way, if the number of students in the class is 10, 7 are boys, you calculate for one, for one student, it will be 7 over 10. Therefore, for 100, and why 100? Because we have to calculate the percentage. And when we, whenever we talk about percentage, we always think of per 100. So, 100. So, what if 
the student, what if the number of students in the class is 100? Then what will be the number of boys? It will be 7 over 10 times 100. If you solve this, you get what? You get 70. So if the strength of the class is 100, then 70, there are 70 boys. It means what? 70 percent, right? So we have calculated the percentage, 30 percent and 70 percent. Now, what's important is if you look at this one, if you look at this one, and if you look at this one, this 3 over 10 is here, this 7 over 10 is here. It means that if you know the fraction, right, and if you simply multiply that with 100, you'll get the percentage. You know the fraction, simply multiply with 100, you'll get the percentage. Same here. So 30% and 70%. This is the case. Now let's take the second part of this problem. And the second part says, if the total number of students is 70, what would be the number of girls and what would be the number of boys in the class? So here again, we can solve using two ways. The first way will be using fraction. And the second way will be, can be using the percentage. Okay, we know that for girls, the fraction we calculated here is 3 over 10 and for boys is 7 over 10. So for girls it is 3 over 10, for boys it is 7 over 10. And the percentage is 30% and 70%. 30% and 70%. First for girls. The number of girls. What's the fraction? 3 over 10. What's the number of students? 70. So 70 students. This is the fraction of girls. So this will be 21. Right? For boys, fraction is 7 over 10. And 70 is the number of students. So this will be 49. Right? This is the first way using fraction. Second way using percentage for girls. Percentage of girls 30%. So 30% is the percentage of girls. What's the percentage of, sorry, uh, strength of the class is 70. So if you solve this again, you'll get what? 21 for boys. The percentage of boys is 70%. If the strength of the class is 70, then you get what? 40. If you solve this one, you'll get 40. So again, using fraction and then using percentage. Either way will give you the same result. Okay, let's take another problem. This problem says if rupees 250 is to be divided amongst persons A, B and C so that A gets two parts, A gets two parts, B gets three parts and C gets five parts, right? This 250 has been is being divided amongst A, B and C and A gets two parts, B gets three parts, C gets five parts. It means the ratio in which this amount is being divided is two ratio, three ratio, five from this information. Now, you have two parts in this question and that is the first part is How much money will each get and what will be what will it be in percentages? Okay, 2 ratio 3 ratio 5. If we add these numbers that is 2 plus 3 plus 5, it gives us what? 
it gives us 10. What does that mean? It means if we take this 250 as one unit, as one unit, and if we divide this one unit into 10 equal parts from here, one part, two parts, three parts, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10, then two parts will be for person A, three parts for person B, and five parts for person C. So the fraction will be 2 over 10, 3 over 10, 5 over 10. Yeah? Okay. It's similar to what we have done in our previous problem. So, how much money will each get? Now, it's very simple. We know the fractions. So, if we know the fraction, then we know that in what fraction this amount will be divided amongst these three persons. So, for person A, for person A, and for part A, and for the person A, it will be 2 over 10 times this amount, right? Fraction of this amount. This will give you 10 and this will give you rupees 50, right? For B, for person B, fraction is 3 over 10. So 3 over 10 fraction of 250, the person B gets, the person B gets rupees, this gone, rupees 75. And then person C, the fraction in which person C gets rupees 250 is 5 over 10. Therefore, the fraction will be 5, fraction 5 over 10 times 250. This will give you rupees 125. Okay. Now, the B part. The B part of the problem. What will it be in percentages? Now we know this fraction and if you remember in our previous problem, we discussed that if we know the fraction, that is if we solve for this A, the fraction is 2 over 10. And if when we have to calculate a percentage and we know the percent we can, uh, fraction, we can simply multiply this with 100%, right? Then you'll get the answer. So this is 2 over 10. If you solve this, you get 20%. For B, the fraction is 3 over 10. If you multiply this with 100, then you'll get 30%, right? And for C, this is 5 over 10 times 100 and we have to calculate percent this will give you 50 percent we know the fractions and since we have to calculate the percentage we'll simply multiply with 100 and we'll put the person symbol and we get the percentage now here is one another important point when we calculated 20 percent and when we calculated the 30 percent we can simply calculate the C without doing this step. How? Because we know that this complete will be what? 100%, right? This whole will be 100%. Whole complete unit means 100%. We know this is 20%. We know that this is 30%. So the remaining can be obtained by adding these two numbers, these two percentages, and then subtracting from 100%, right? This is 20%. This is 30%. So what will be this? This will be the remaining will be 100 minus the sum of these two percentages, that is 100%, 100% minus this 20% plus 30%, that's very simple. And you get what? 50%. So two ways, okay? This one and this one. 
So this is all about converting ratios to percentages. And thanks for watching this. See you in the next video.